Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Huh. Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd makeshift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late or the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem, <clears throat> sirs. We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Allow the Witcher to ply his trade. Sleep strengthens, and wine makes you sleepy. And Good hunting to you, Witcher. Wine We're relying on your mastery of your craft. Nothing to see here. Move along! Sir! Sir! A letter for you, sir! Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Here. And thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Toussaint. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you, thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, 
Please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Hmm. A professor who studied Witcher mutations. Might actually be worth looking into. The Duchess summoned him. I I'm wonder. watching your flinty hide. Axe the might be worth looking into. Ah! Run, Roach. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco.
I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up. Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. 